Today I'll be showing you how to wash clothes. All right, the first things you'll need in this washing tutorial are a hamper or a basket, just something to hold your clothes. You can use one, two, or however many you need. And then you need your choice of dryer sheets and your choice of detergent. All right, after you get your detergent, dryer sheets, and hamper or bin to hold your clothes, you're gonna want to sort your clothes into color-coded piles. I personally sort mine in darks, lights, and whites, but you can sort yours in however fashion you want. Just make sure that the light colors and the dark colors are separate so none of them bleed into each other. All right, for this washing machine, we have three dials right here. One, two, three. This first one says soil level, which means how dirty your clothes are. You have light for not so dirty, medium for kind of dirty, and heavy for really dirty clothes. And over here is your water temperature. You have cold, which is virtually good for any color clothing, but is good for delicates and dark colors. Then this washing machine actually has cool darks and a cool light setting. But anyway, then there's a warm water setting, which is good for man-made fabrics or anything really delicate also. And then you have hot, which is good for white clothing and anything that's very dirty. Then over here, you have your setting dial, your mode dial, my bad. So over here, these three right here are used for your size. So if you have a lot of clothes, you use bulky because this fills up the washer the most. Then you have deep water wash, which is about like halfway or a little bit above one third. And then you have normal, which is about like one third. And then you have, we have cold wash, casual wash, delicate. And then this is just to clean the washer right here. And then right below that, you have the cycle status. So you know when your clothes are about to be finished in here. And then yeah, the start and stop button. So as you can see now, I'll be using this Tide measuring cup. So there's one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars, and then five bars. One bar is 1.5 ounces, three bars is two ounces, and five bars is four ounces. I'll be filling it to the one, the one bar, for so 1.5 ounces because I have a small load. After that, you're going to want to put your clothes in, then your detergent, Then you're gonna close the lid and you're gonna press start. And this one's kind of funky, but it should start putting water in. There we go. And now you let the washer do the rest. All right, after the cycle's complete, then you transfer your clothes over to the dryer. And here is the dryer's dial. So first we got auto sense dry so this is where the washing machine will automatically dry your clothes for either very dry less dry or less dry and it will sense for when your it feels your clothes are completely dry it's not the most reliable so i wouldn't recommend using it then there's a the time dry low heat this one is for you could pick 30 minutes 20 minutes or 10 minutes and this one is on low heat, so it's wrinkle free. So it's less likely to have wrinkles than if you were to do a time dry on high heat, which is also 30, 20, and 10 minutes. And then finally, there's a no heat slash fluff, which is for anything that require that uh, can't be dried on heat. So yeah, those are all the cycles. So after you get your clothes in, don't forget to put this uh, dryer sheet in with it. Then we are going to set mine to very dry for auto dry. And then hit the start button. And let the dryer do the wet. Rest. After the dryer is done, take your clothes out, fold them, and put them away. Then repeat those same steps with all your other loads of clothes.